the attack trial was a trial that was designed uh, with the aim of achieving sinus rhythm. So the best way to achieve sinus rhythm, if you believe that sinus rhythm is better than atrial fibrillation, is to use anti drugs or ablation. In the settings of low ejection fraction, we have enrolled patient with heart failure. The only available drug is amiodarone. So we have compared amiodarone versus ablation in the setting of patient under, uh, in the setting of patient with uh, atrial fibrillation and heart failure. Okay, so the ATTAC trial was a trial that designed in patient that had already had an ICD or a CRTD implant. So it was very important because the monitoring of the atrial fibrillation recurrence could be done by basically a long-term monitoring. So this is major difference with other trials. So the mortality benefit, I think, was shown because a higher number of patients achieved sinus rhythm. So I believe that this... Uh, Although the sign was not the sign and does not have the power to assess mortality difference because this trial was designed with the primary endpoint, freedom from AEF. As a secondary endpoint, we look at combined reduction of rehospitalization and mortality. So this is, a, I would say, an initial study showing that there is some benefit there when, it, when sinus rhythm can be maintained. And I think this is also because if you look at the results of improvement of six minute walking test, Minnesota hard living questionnaire, and ejection fraction improvement after ablation, these were significantly better and improved in the group of patients in sinus rhythm, in both groups. So sinus rhythm, I think, it was the key of the trial. Uh, well, you know, I think we have some other trials that are instead designed to look at difference in into mortality between atrial fibrillation, rate control versus rhythm control. But in the Cabana trial, for example, only a subset of patients will have a heart failure. Not all patients will have heart failure. Our trial is unique because it is based on patients with heart failure, an implanted device that will have atrial fibrillation and we have been randomized to amiodarone versus ablation.